Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali and today we're going to be reacting to food. Yay! Anjali and I's favorite. We yes. love doing temple videos and our next would be the yummy food from India videos. And we've done this, similar, right? Yes. And this is the $100 challenge in Street Mumbai. Street food challenge in Mumbai. This is going to make me so hungry and so I'm already we, hungry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Even though we just kind of had lunch, but... This, the, the picture on it looks delicious. Looks so good. Um, we've done a few other things about Mumbai, so we know a little bit about the city of Mumbai. Yeah. Um, but this will be interesting to hear about the street food. We did, the last food one we've did has been a while. It's been um, a while, yeah. We did the Golden Temple feeds 500,000, 50,000 people. I it was like it was 5, big, 000. no, it was like 50,000 50, people a day. A big bats of like curry it was deli looked curry delicious and, and um uh, chapatis, chapatis and right i mean just amazing so we know there was some delicious food in india so we need you yes. guys to send us a few more of these yummy videos because we like to to see making us hungry well it makes us hungry but we can't get the, the awesome. authentic food here unless grandma makes it or yeah. auntie makes it or somebody yeah but Next best thing, we can watch it at least on TV for a little bit until we come yeah. to India, all right? But well, we're going. We'll come and we'll let you know. So let's start this up before Anjali's mouth falls off. <laughs> to the, the Hulk mm. weighing in Ooh, at one kilogram. So so gigantic. Let's try it out. Uh, can we have a bite of that? I know. I think a lot of people can eat that. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Here we go. The $100 street food challenge has been a huge hit around the globe. In Korea, we tried luxurious lobster tail covered in molten cheese for $15. In wow. Japan, I took down an ice cream cone covered in real gold. What? $10. It just completely dissolves in your mouth immediately. <laughs> Now we're in Mumbai, India, and I'm yeah. challenging myself to spend $100 on street food, food in a single day. Like ridiculous amount of food. Well, like, good. Oh, <laughs> delicious food. Look, all fresh. So will Ooh. I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend, like, 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? Mm -hmm. I think people <laughs> saw the title and they're like, how are you going to pull this off? <laughs> Even I'll be joined by a local food, foodie expert, Natasha Okrutin, <laughs> and she knows street. her stuff. It's such a vibrant city. You'd find the richest man living in the city and you find the poorest of the poor living in the city and you'd barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street yeah. food. So hit That's the Stairmaster awesome. and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating big in Mumbai, India. Try. This is that was awesome. Stop one, the dancing Dabeli. In order to entice <laughs> patrons and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or, um. Yeah, that's dancing, right? Hey! Is he yelling at me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I? Um, India is the best of kind of thing. Hey! What do we have right here? Right here, you have the amazing dancing dabeli. Now, a dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like uh, incense underneath? Actually, to keep away everything and for the effects. You know oh, how you have the street side smoke yes. effects. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? Exactly. Oh, it's Bollywood happening. Movie. He's got the bread. He <laughs> dramatically <laughs> rips them apart, carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some point. <laughs> no, <laughs> now he's ready. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, peanuts, and now he's just going to fry them in butter. Oh, man. Well done. Come on, people. <laughs> okay, it's like this is the way. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I've just got like a little salsa of like peanut, onion, and garlic chutney. Shaving. Oh, yeah. Mung flour shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun here is super toasty, crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Yes? Did you even get any? Mm. Hold on. <laughs> <Here's those bites. laughs> That's hilarious. That's so yummy. The masala is not too intense, which is nice. The peanut, I love peanut in a sandwich. It's like extra, extra so chunky yummy. peanut butter in there. And it's toasty peanuts, right? It's not just like, right. yeah. Everything that fell yeah. out, I'm going to scoop it up like a nacho chip. That is heavenly. <laughs> mm. 
very nice yeah. buttery, crunchy bun on the outside. So full good. of dynamic flavor. It's a little <laughs> bit spicy too. Yeah. 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 Wait, this is $15, you said. 15 this bucks? is 15 rupees. Oh. Oh. We have to eat like 100 times as much food. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you, I'm up for the challenge. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Not gonna no, you can't walk off camera until you finish eating <laughs> it. She's gonna finish it too. So whatever they get, they have to finish eating too. Yeah, but it'd be a good lunch. I think you have lunch. I we have come to our second location right here. I think it's a big lentil Ooh. fluff, like fluffy no, lentil mashed potatoes. So it's actually gram fluff. This is one of the most hot selling dishes here and it's called khamani. Khamani? Yes. Yeah. And you also can eat that with like green chilis. So it does. Do that. I can, yeah. I can, can we pretend? Like I'll take a bite and spit it out and then like <laughs> we'll edit it so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? That's what I do all the time. <laughs> oh, <great>. oh, really? <laughs> so right now, he's put some of the fluff on the plate, shaved gram flour on top of that. Coriander. Coriander. A big handful of onion, a couple of hot chilies, and then some little mirrors. They even give us a little mirror so you can check your teeth uh, for food at the end. <laughs> in India. Wait, I thought you guard just meant like, make it work. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We're making it work. We don't have spoons. We're not oh. using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna curve it a little bit. Let's try it out. Oh, Lordy. It's amazing, isn't it? Mmm. It's a little sweet, a little salty. The coriander makes it very fresh, and then the onion is a nice texture, a little nice. bit crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. It's it it hungry. <laughs> It's very yeah. simple, but very delicious. And honestly, why would you mess it up by eating chilies? You don't have to. <laughs> so it's fried, okay? It's not like as intense as it would be. It's don't fried. Believe, don't, <laughs> don't believe her, don't ready? Believe her. Yeah, take a don't bite. I'm going to take a bite. You're not going to? No. What it's the? too spicy for me. She walks through the tutorial and she's like, but I'm not going to. Okay, here we go. One, One. two. Huh. I'm going to eat some other food. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm -mm. Yeah. Does it add a little zing? Yeah, it adds a little zing. A little chili flavor. I love it. India has some of the most affordable street food yep. of anywhere in the world. Ooh, but there's a lot of reasons so for it. Good. And one of them is the like choice sweet, of ingredients. Mm -hmm. Kind of the creativity with I the ingredients. Yeah, kind of. how one thing can be used for like right. numerous dishes. Yeah. Even here, we have the kind of the gram flour mash. Yeah. And then we have the shaved gram flour on top, yes. giving a texture. Yes. This is awesome. I Our next food location. How what much we're having is aloo piaz kachori, onion potato mixture <laughs> that is stuffed Ooh. in corn flour. Right. So this has been stuffed already. Yes, with onion potato and a little bit of spices, all of it yeah. mixed oh. together, and it's deep fried. And then it puffs up. He kind of rips it apart, it's and then he puts on this sweet chutney, green chutney, the shaved gram flour, onions, and of course, and of course more chili. More chili. <laughs> Forty-four <laughs> cents. <laughs> I don't think he's going to eat a good snack. Nice and crispy it's, it's and heavy. Snack. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your, your hands. Like a true Indian. True Indian. <laughs> oh, that's right a nice big hand. bite. You've got yeah. some onions, coriander, Which is good all for it me. on top. Let's go for it. Not for me. <laughs> Wow, that mint chutney is so fresh, but man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's a bit spicy, got a little bit of crunch on the outside, but otherwise it's just kind of like a... Kind of like a slow motion. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Like a bit more of the red chutney, and if you want it spicy, you just add the green chutney. Well, or... Or that. Chutney in solid form. Uh-huh. Ready? And here I go. I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, I don't think I would do mm. that. Oh, mm. the chili's magic. Where's your mango Maybe last with up a someone? Lot of that oil. It with is so like heavy. Something it's really heavy. Or like, like a it. drink on the side. Maybe. Just a few food. <laughs> it's <laughs> still not anywhere cents. close to $100. That's a lot more money. Natasha <laughs> and I are really gonna have to step it up to make this happen. Yeah, but who knows what kind of so yeah. Yeah. It's excited like a about the huge crush. diversity of food here. Right now we have another one. What is this? This one's called Ragda Puri. Okay, have you had a Pani Puri before? I've had a Pani Puri. You take, you take, can I, they take a crisp such as this, they hollow out the top. <laughs> a little they bit. Gently, gently hollow out the top. And then they put in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with ragda puri, what they do is that they take the same thing, they fill it up with ragda, which is made of family of chole, it's like a family of chickpeas. They put that mm. and then you add a little bit of moong, which is like a lentil. So he's going to mix them up right now? Yeah. 
He starts with the crisp, putting a hole into it. And then so he's got this little mixture in this yeah, side so pan. Mixture. So that's the moong, the potato, a little bit of spices. He's putting all of it in the puri. Now he's adding mm. ragda. Oh, and that goes inside of each yeah. one. Yeah. Some of the green chutney, some red chutney. It just keeps going. More salt, chaat masala. Some red chili powder. And of course, crunchy. Oh my Same. lord, it never <laughs> ends. That's coriander. Yeah. Some peanuts. All right, that's brilliant. Yeah, I just saw it now, right? I got a spoon for you right here. I'm going to use my hand. Yeah. Well, today we are true <laughs> Indians. Yes, you don't use a spoon. No, you no, just take it. Sir, we are true like Indians today. Food. We're true Indians. He doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to grab from back here. Ready? Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, so much flavor. So crispy. It's salty. It's sweet. Crunch on the outside. The only thing you've got to do is go really quick and eat it fast. Because yeah, okay. you can see it's already getting soggy. It is getting soggy. It's getting kind of wet and moist on the outside. you got to be fast. Here we go. I hate being fast with food. Because then it doesn't last. A tsunami of flavor. That is delicious. So now they're sharing it. And again, the just kind of similar things that we've had all day today. Like it's all day 50 so cents in a different again. wrapping, different combo. So it gives you new sensations every time. Right. I love it. Food. Oh, doggy. Yeah. I'm seeing similar themes in all the street food here. But here, it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes, it's called a masala kichia. That sounds nice. I want to name my daughter that. A masala kichia. Good morning, masala kichia. <laughs> yeah. You got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made out of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. Mm. And we're going to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh, God, I love ghee. Thank you for doing that. Yes, and then the smash. A tornado of onions, and there's some tomato here with cucumber, cabbage, all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. This is a green chutney, sweet like chutney. Shaved graham uh, flour. And, and then we got corn. Yeah. And then what was the last bit? Canada, Canada. Very successful. <laughs> Here we have our Indian nachos. We're going to yeah, grab the see? chips now. Yeah, and like honestly, nachos. When you look at this big layer of food, you can't tell where the chips are. You got to kind of feel for it. Let's go. Mmm. There's a little cucumber, mm. but it's not bad. Nice. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kind of surprised. It's a bit like dry. In yeah, your mouth. it's a little dry. Mmm. It's a great yummy snack. It's actually a bit lighter than some of the other stuff we had. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far, do you think? Three dollars. <laughs> Less than two dollars. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> they need something to drink. We have pulled up at yeah. our final destination. We are at Om Snacks. It's literally Mumbai's oh, biggest God. sandwich. Weighing mm. in at one kilogram. Five layers. Five oh, layers. Wow. Cheese, veggies, so goat's big. cheese, more veggies, and just five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah. that happen? <laughs> because a lot of street food is vegetarian. Yeah. That's fair. India yeah. is like the only That's place so you can go to eat vegetarian all day and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. That's Let's good. meet the guy. Okay. Was this your idea? Yes, sir. What? Why? Why have you done this? It is too so flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. You will love it. Do people <laughs> usually finish it? We are actually finding that person. It needs minimum three people to finish it. Whoa. That's how big it is. Well, today, I'm going to yeah. take it upon myself. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Right now, we're gonna witness the creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine, a little bit of green chutney, layer of tomato, mm. then green peppers, chaat masala, mm. cheese. oh, cheese. processed cheese. cheese, and then more, more margarine, more bread, mm. more green. That's one there. Wait, so what is this one Ooh. that they're putting on? Uh, in house sauce. A what sauce? It's an in house sauce. In house sauce. You look like a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread, a little bit more green. Oh and then that's it. I think that. Oh, oh no. no. It's more, more margarine, more, more green. And more this would be a good lunch. Like, just oh, have this. Goat's cheese and then a goat sure water. Water. Oh, chaat masala. And then a little bit oh, more oh cheese. This that's is it. the white that's kind. Oh no, right he's not done. More yeah, margarine, more green. This is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? Looks like some onion masala mix. Grating more cheese. Another piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Mayo? Wow. That looks like marshmallow. <laughs> that looks more cheese. <laughs> Organo, oh chili flakes. Oh, my God. oh <gasps> jeepers. This is all the layers right here. They're going to put this monstrosity in some sort of oven so and bake it. Good. One kilogram of sandwich goodness. <gasps> Stuck in the mail. What can I do? do that, not eat it. <laughs> here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk. Oh. oh. Uh. <laughs> what do you usually do in this situation? Do you put on more cheese? That's okay. Listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Yes. Are you satisfied with the size? 
Is that an awkward question? Or? $4 or $4 or $4 or $4 no, Guys, we have the sandwich here. Is that chunk is better? So there's a dollar twenty-nine. That's true. Or let's try it out. Yeah. Uh, I hope it you... is because then they at least up their prices. Oh. Yeah. Then they've hit almost ten dollars. But after they finish this, are they going to have room for anything else? Oh. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have some sweets. A little sweet. mushy, mashy oh, inside. <laughs> a little yeah. crunchy on the outside. Can't go through the day without any sweets. Some chai and the some The orange layers. Lassi. There's a ton of tomato Amaka flavor coming Lassi. through. It's a bit spicy. Amaka it's cheesy. You can just Ooh, peel all the layers of the bread as you crunch through it. If you turn it upside down, you can really get that cheesy layer. That's what we want is that cheese. Oh, what is that, mayonnaise? <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mayo. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed. This is like good hangover food, huh? Yeah. Take one more bite. Finish it. Aren't you supposed to eat the whole it's thing? It's a big monstrosity. He says it takes I did not three expect to see this in the whole live thing. or in India, period. This was worth it, man. But mm. the city of sandwiches, which is what this is called, right? Mumbai is called the city of sandwiches. <laughs> She's like, what? No. 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 But they do like sandwiches. No, yeah, we do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. Is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. No. <laughs> Oh my God, it has been an amazing, long, fun-filled day of eating. When you add it all up, the food costs this much money. $7. Did we get to $100? So it was for this. Oh. Even get, yeah. I it think we missed it. Oh. <laughs> they so didn't get $10. It is and they've already eaten to eat four $100 food. worth yeah. of street food in Mumbai, India in one day. Maybe in no, one year, maybe like chai, in five years. Mango, Indian street food like is the perfect sweets, intersection samosas. of affordability and yumness. Elevating simple ingredients know. to their highest mm. potential and with dynamic flavors and joyous textures. Natasha from like, Curly Tales, laugh. again, Don't thank you so much for your company Mindful. and all your knowledge about street food in Mumbai today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure mm, tours, and more. Like to fun. learn more yeah, about One Trip, check out the course. links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Yep. <laughs> no, only one chance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Amazing, amazing yeah. food. Looked delicious. And I knew he was going to fail at spending a hundred US dollars in But Indian I didn't think he food. would fail that bad. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even reach $10. No. Not even $10. Not even like $8. Barely $8. And he was feeding her too. Like they were getting, well, at one point they started getting one meal, yeah, which I think was two. Um, a little bit better, but if you had to finish it, there's no way you could spend a no. hundred US dollars unless you had like, you know, a family of ten. ten people maybe and ate all day long, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, chai, more chai, more, more chai. chai. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like there's no way you could do that. Like, I feel like even if we came, the hundred dollars would last us, you know, a good 10 days. For I us thought at least they would get some chai. Yeah. And sweets. Yeah, so they forgot sweets. They only tried like four things, which I understand. Like they probably had no more space in their stomach after eating all that food. And that monstrous giant sandwich looked yeah. amazing. But yeah, you need at least three people to eat a part of it. And that would probably have been a meal if three people shared that sandwich. Yeah. That was huge. Um, looked yummy though. Uh, it all looked yummy. Yeah, deliciously I mean, yummy. I've, I The only one that looked familiar was the one that looked like Utma, but they didn't call it Utma, but it had no. that texture to it, and then they put the chips yeah. and stuff on it and made it. And um, what was the other one? Oh, those little um, balls that he poked the hole yeah, in. Yeah, those, those look Those look familiar to us um, from things that we've eaten or tried here, but the, all of that looked amazing, amazing, amazing. So good. Freshly made. So yummy. All the chutneys. You oh so have to go to India. And then you'd have to eat some mangoes and samosas. And they had that like, pomegranate in that sandwich. Oh, yeah, that, that looked, looked good. good. Mm. Oh, my God. This just makes us hungry. And I'm telling you, the food here is – the Indian restaurants here are very Americanized, kind of. They're not as spicy. They're definitely flavorful. We mm -hmm. enjoy them. But, um, you know, when we go to his sister's house and his mom and his sister, they make, like, authentic – fresh Good. handmade food, food. <laughs> more you know 
yeah, more authentic than um, the restaurants here. I we have to tell them to tone down the chili a little bit because Angie and I love the seasoning and a little spice. Yeah, we can't do. You can't do a lot of spice. Can't do a lot of spice. I don't think I would eat in those raw chilies. But this looks so yummy and definitely on our list of things to do when we come. Yeah. Um, Not only to come to Mumbai, but to try some of that awesome yummy street food. But there's so many cities now on our list and so many places to go between the temples, the street food, you know. um, More food. And more food. (laughs) And chai. Angie just wants, yeah, chai. Chai. Mm, Some good chai. And um, yeah, anyways, making us wish we were in India right now. So I wish we were. <laughs> Hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe. Join our wonderful family and we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.